Hey folks, it's Lobo, and here we are with yet another episode of Marvel's What If, and as usual, I am immeasurably late with this one. Uh, there's, how many episodes are out right now? There's six episodes out, and I'm on episode three, so I'm like four weeks behind, because that's just how I roll. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get started here. The next one is, what if the world lost its mightiest heroes? Uh, I can't lie, I think a part of why... I'm not on time with these reactions because I'm not like the biggest fan of like animated shows. If this was live action, I'd watch it when it comes out like on schedule, on time, very punctual. But that I don't mean to suggest that I'm not enjoying the series. I am. I liked all the episodes that I watched so far, but it's just it's not enough to like make me like oh oh my god it's it's a new episode airing. But I'm gonna get caught up soon. I'm going to do about like two episodes per week until I get caught up and then then we should flow from there. But yeah, so nothing really to say about this one. We're just going to get started here. I'm excited. This one uh, it's looking like the Avengers never existed is what I'm getting from that title. I also see like Nick Fury in the thumbnail. Not that you could see it, but that's what that's what I see. But anyway, we're going to get started here. Also, if you're new here or you just are not aware there was the Sony sort of live stream, the PlayStation event, and if you're interested in any of, well, there was only two reactions that I had, really had. If you're interested in my Spider-Man 2 reaction or God of War Ragnarok, those are both in the description. You can check those out on your free time. But anyway, like I said, we're gonna get started here. Let's roll with it. Okay, Jeremy Renner is also in here. Go away! This is so annoying. I can't get the, oh, what the hell is it called? You know the buttons you see on screen to like rewind, go forward, or pause? Like I can't get that stupid little sub screen to go away. It's so annoying. Mark Ruffalo? Okay. Tom it's Hiddleston. In your path. Interesting. I mean, no, it doesn't look like Chris Hemsworth, no Chris Evans, and obviously no Robert Downey Jr., but, well, two Avengers returning. Technically, there's, again, Loki and Nick Fury, but I don't consider them, like, Avengers. I'm talking about, like, the original six, because I'm just reading, like, the credits. I am your guide through these vast new realities. It kind of sucks that they do that at the beginning, like, the voices, because then it kind of lets you know who's in the episode prior to watching it. It would be a cool surprise, but... Like, last episode when I read, oh my god, Josh Brolin Thanos is going to be in here? So is Ego? I was like... Kind of spoiled, but it was an idea to bring together a, a group, group of remarkable people. people to see if they could become something more. I know. Oh shit! His donut scene. Stark may be. This is uh, Iron Man two, I think, because I remember he had like the, the the neck shit, and then Nick Fury like made it go away. I'm going to have to ask you to exit the donut. I told you, I don't. Where you do everything yourself. See How's exactly what I was talking about. Work sometimes. Stark. You okay? Stop. Okay, I guess this is what went wrong. He's dead. <laughs> what the hell? So eager, so willing to face the impossible. What a twist! Watcher, and we're humans. Thor again. one, or just Thor? This collection of individuals into a team of. I'm a god, you dumb creature. Tuesday. Always Monday and Tuesdays, the worst of the week. Sir, we found him. Oh, it's Phil Coulson! Here, Coulson. Not sure I can wait, sir. Phil, son of Cole. <laughs> I may not. So Hydra killed Tony Stark by switching his cure. Serious. Is this gonna be like the elevator scene? always comes looking we just have to cross our fingers <laughs> that someone Thor like the first Thor movie is criminally underrated it was really good in my opinion it's like one of my favorite movies got a man down. I thought it was alarms. like it was serious enough while also mixing like the comedic Marvel formula but it was like I thought it was a really great movie one of the best in the MCU but that's a, sort of a hot take. 
but I really do think so. Like his sort of maturity and redemption. Caucasian male. It was a good, it was a good story. He's making a move on the hammer. One shot, one kill, sir. Just say the word. That is Jeremy Renner, right? He sounds a little different for some reason. He killed Thor? Oh, uh, I don't wait, he's alive. Oh no, I never mind, that's still okay. So Loki had him kill Thor? Is that what's going on? Bart, Coulson, get a medic. How could this who did you let in here? Yo, this is so bizarre. Oh, wow. Even while rotting, he smells like lavender. Really? <laughs> this is very weird. This is a very weird episode. But <sighs> is that I'll Betty? And I'll tell you candidates. If someone wanted to kneecap shield, that's a good place to start. I mean, we saw Tom Hiddleston appear earlier in the credits, so Loki's got to be a play in this in some way. This makes the Avengers look so frail. They're getting popped day after day. No need for violence, Agent Romanoff. That's probably not gonna work out. He was hiding in the closet. I love when the Watcher's in the sky. It's so cool. Are his eyes moving? I can't tell. I think they're just stationary. You like those paintings that follow you with their eyes, that creepy ass shit. Whatever it is, it came with bogeys. Oh like shit! Maybe Middle Earth? There he is! Go get him, boss. Yeah, good luck with that. Looking for directions, sir? The destroyer is in the back. The rightful king of Jotun <laughs> Jotunheim and God of mi mischief. Are you gonna take that? I'm in the middle of something here. I sort of can't die. Then I guess you're in luck. Hey, I recognize that hallway they're in. Was this in the first Hulk movie? Like this building? It looks so familiar. Like the 2008 or 9 Incredible Hulk with the. Uh... Oh my god, I can't remember his name. Norden? Something Norden? Oh, uh, now he's gonna transform. <laughs> She's like, I'm out. Smart. I kind of miss this version of Hulk, man. If he had this personality with his character model of Thor Ragnarok, I think that would be a great Hulk. What the hell? Bruce. Bro, what is going on? <laughs> what the? Is he gonna explode? Dude, if this was live action, that would be so nasty. Can't die. I love how Betty makes a reappearance even though she disappeared. Since the movie. <laughs> I mean, technically, this is taking place during the movie, but still. To deliver my brother's assassin, or I will reduce this planet to ash and ice. <laughs> oh, he sounds so good. I love his voice. And I was thinking Loki had some part to play in Thor's death, but I don't know. Maybe this was an evil version of Loki, because we all know in heart he really loves his brother. I knew it would be something cap related. I mean, it's better than when you play the Avengers game and you break into like Tony Stark's account because the password was like, I think it was I am Iron Man. Huh, how did a woman who died two years ago access the database yesterday? You found me. Someone invisible? What the hell, bro? <laughs> I'm so confused. It's all about hope. Wait, you talking about Wasp? Like hope, wasp. 
Uh, are we gonna do Cap? Or Captain Marvel? Is that a beeper? Either make a pact with a god or deal with the devil. That was a sick line. There he is. San Fran, California. No, wait. It is home. That's what I said. The balls you have to come here and stand over her grave. Oh, don't worry. Shield killed her. She died because of you. Agent Evil Hank Pym? Killed on a mother. My little girl. Oh. Mother. I remember Hope's name was on the file block what it was looking at. Left out how she died Damn, he does. Yeah. He looks like a Sith Lord, bro. <laughs> Everything you ever worked for. Oh, it came out of his ear, bro. Hope for. Oh, he made him his heart bigger. What of Thor, Prince of Asgard? Goldilocks? You would have recruited him in a heartbeat. You murdered him because you could? His death was a favor. Yours will be a triumph. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I was a corner office. Yeah, bro, how is Nick Fury doing this? I mean, it's an alternate version of him, but still, what? He looks like Yellow Jacket in this. Or maybe it's Loki. Oh, it is Loki. I was like, bro, how's Nick Fury doing this shit? What's with the goth kid? Hello. Takes the god. Hi. Shield. Now take your hammer and get off my planet. <laughs> About that. We should be allies. You know, I've just had an idea. I might extend my stay here on Midgard. For how long? It's the unspoken truth of humanity that you crave subjugation. The bright lure of freedom. Hob I believe that in this universe, as in every other, hope. There he goes. Dies. Looking for him. So, where's the fight? And then she did appear. Two caps. Oh, and it's over. Well, I forgot to change the lights behind me. Usually I change them to the color of what, like the theme of the episode or the movie or whatever it is. And I just, I just forgot. So <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have white the entire time. But yeah, there was episode three. Uh, it was weird. I originally, when she was saying hope, and then I saw her flying around, I was thinking maybe it was like wasp punching her because she said hope then I remembered like her name appeared on the screen and then she said how could she be accessing files or whatever since she's been dead for two years but like it's part of reacting is you're kind of I want to say your head's in the cloud but it takes a, for at least for me dude I'm way more attentive and I can really process the details when I watch it on my own but when I'm like talking out loud kind of messes me up so it's like a delayed reaction in my in my brain but I connected the dots at the end that it was Loki there, even though it kind of really wasn't hard. And that, yeah, uh, like I said, it was just weird that Hank Pym looked like, again, a, a Sith Lord. He looked like he joined the dark side. He had like the, the black around his eyes and shit. Dude, he looked evil. And he, was kill and he killed all the Avengers. He killed five of the six. Like, holy shit, bro. He made Hulk's like heart keep growing until he imploded from the inside. He killed Thor by punching Hawkeye's arrow and then he flew through his ear and did something to his brain, dude. That's nasty. And he did. He looked like he had like the yellow jacket design with the the arms or the bees technically have arms, right? Yeah. Or legs or manacle manticles. Whatever the hell the mantis shit's called. Like the four arms. There's so many like arm, extra armed beings. 
Iron Spider suit, Doctor Octopus. Like it's just extra pair of arms or whatever. You know, but this episode was weird. So it ended ended with Loki's domination, which again it was taken from the speech he said in the first Avengers. Like the mad scramble for power, for identity, and how he's on about his uh, freedom is life's greatest lie or whatever shit. Uh, I love when he does that, but it's weird that all these episodes. Oh, what was the first one again? No, the first one was kind of cheery. I'm talking about like the endings have all been, I wouldn't say sinister, but they've been not pleasant. The f with exceptions of the first one. The first one had Peggy Carter and Steve, and instead the roles were flipped where she came through a portal to the future rather than Loki stepping through the Tesseract portal. So she went forward in time and took Cap's place in that timeline. But then in the second one, you had Ego technically like destroyed the universe or merged with it. With his, uh, I always I always mix up what it's called. I always call it the Ascension, and it's not called that. Oh my God! What the hell? I don't know why. I always think it's such like a a big line when he's talking about what his little plant things, the emergence, the Ascension, uh, the expansion. There we go. It's such a simple word, the expansion. And then in this one, Loki dominated the Earth. So, like, that's two out of the three where the ending is, like, super different. Where the whole universe, or, well, Earth. Because technically Earth is, like, the center of the universe in all these movies. But it ends with their sort of downfall or whatever. So, that's just an interesting theme. So, it kind of limits the possibility of these events ever making an appearance in future movies. Although there will be future seasons of this individual series. So it's all very interesting and stuff. But I'm just wondering what the... The next one, I a lot of people said this was a good episode. I thought it was a good episode. But it's just, again, it was, it was just weird. I think it's weird for me personally because there's the part where it's not live action and also it's like a 30 minute story and it's super 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 fast paced like it's you kind of have to i wouldn't say you have to guess what's going on it's pretty self-explanatory when you like pay attention but it's not enough to sort of flesh things out and really build up to what it's getting at but it's completely understandable because it's a what if series it's taking the events you know and twisting them so it's making the assumption that you know what the story or event is take place prior to its transformation into whatever new timeline or reality it is so from that standpoint i understand but it's just for me i'm huge i'm like massive into stories even in video games, my favorite part of the video game is the story itself. Put the gameplay aside, the graphics or whatever. I care most about the story. So when stories are very important to me, I love when they're not necessarily slow, but it's enough time, like I said, to build and flesh things out. But this series doesn't really follow that formula. But as I said, it's, it's understandable, but it's just still hard for me to get invested in something like this. But... I'm enjoying this. I heard a lot of good reviews about the next episode. I think that's dealing with Doctor Strange. And one thing I didn't know is Benedict Cumberbatch is back for that episode. I thought he wouldn't sign on for this, but apparently he did. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We're going to end it off here, and I'm going to get to watching the next one. Because, like I said, I'm going to try to catch up. And then I'm going to have another movie. I'm going to try to do two... I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to try to do two movies a week, but we'll see if I can handle that. But like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. And until then, I'll catch you folks in the next video.